Hey there, fellow travelers. We're back in Salzburg with a new Five Love and Hates of Austria. Because the sound in the last Five Love and Hates of Austria was so bad, I thought I should redo it again so you could actually understand it. Anyway, let's get started. The first thing you're going to hate about coming to Austria is the service. It is piss poor service here in Austria. Just accept it. The people can be nice, okay, but just know in service, they're not. They're not so helpful, they're not friendly, none of these things. And you need to tip about 10% when you go out to eat. So like, wait, bad service and I have to tip and they make a good wage? I'm confused. Yes, that's how it works here. Now, if you wanna have better service or more acceptable service when you do come to Austria, make sure when you take your order, you know what you want to eat and drink right away. When you go ask the hotel for things, have exact questions to ask and they'll answer you in a professional way saying, here's what you should do, here's the directions, here's the bus to your thing. Maybe they won't give you any extra hints or any help, extra help, but they will tell you directly what you need to know. But the first thing you're not gonna like about coming to Austria is the service. Now, the second thing you might not like about coming to Austria are the shops close relatively early. Six o'clock, some places, Sundays, you know, like most places in Europe, they'll be closed. So if you wanna do your shop and you wanna get your Mozart Kugeln, the little, the little chocolate balls here, or you wanna go get your trockenware, your traditional clothing or whatever, you know, you're gonna have to shop early. And I think in the museums, they usually stay open until six, just like the shops. So you gotta kind of rotate off those. Now, even though the shops close at six, the cafes and restaurants stay open later and there's stuff to do at night, that's not a problem. There's cultural things to do in the evening or you can walk around and enjoy the sights. But just know, the shopping and store hours, after six, you're kind of screwed, okay? A few places might be open near the train station, but get your shopping done beforehand, okay? Kind of going back on that service side of things, the third thing you might not like about coming to Austria is how hard it is to actually meet the people here because they're not the most open and friendly people out there. Austria are just not very friendly, okay? But once you get into that circle, then they will open up for you and do things like that, so that's kind of nice. But just know, Austrians, not the super best people out there, okay? Which kind of goes into the fourth thing you're not gonna like about coming to Austria. Is they have all this great culture and all this cool stuff to see during the day, but if you're coming here and you're like 20 years old, I mean, I'm an old man, so it's not really big for me, but if you're looking for a good time and going to party and things like that, Austria is not the best, most exciting place to be. However, if you do have locals, you do know locals, they will let you know the places to go because it's not obvious for tourists to find these places, okay? So you're not gonna have your Amsterdam parties or your interlocking fun or your Bavarian, you know, blitz. You're having more of your Austrian austerity, okay? And the fifth thing you might not like about coming to Austria is the fact that, you know, it depends where you're coming from, but because Austria can seem a little expensive. If you're coming from Southern Europe, it will seem a, definitely much more pricey, but if you're coming from Northern Europe, it will seem like a deal. If you're coming from the US, I'd say it's about 10% more expensive here in Austria than in the US, so it's kind of a good deal, but I know for a lot of our viewers, it will seem a little bit expensive, so that's why I'm putting it on that. So those are the five little things you might not like coming to Austria. What are you gonna love about coming to Austria? Well, the first thing you're gonna love about coming to Austria is the food. I mean, dude, I used to be skinny, then I came to Austria and I got fat, but I was happy about it because the cakes and the food, yes, you have your Wiener schnitzel and you have your Wieners, your hot dogs, but there's so many great food, pork, duck, all this food from all over the old Holy Roman Empire, because you had them, the Hungarian, the goulash when you have here, or the pasta you bring here from Italy that came from those times. You have really great food all over Austria and you'll eat very well. So that's the first thing you're gonna love. Now, the second thing you're gonna love about coming to Austria is the nature. I mean, you, I mean, you go to the Alps by, by Innsbruck, you go to the lakes here by Salzburg or the forest outside of Vienna, you have really great nature all over the country and it is well worth checking out, okay? So make sure you get out of the cities and explore the nature of Austria. Austria, because I mean, it's beautiful weather. You got hot summers here, cold winters, a really good season. So you have all kinds of stuff to enjoy. The third thing you're gonna like about Austria is they have really great tourist infrastructure. Tourists have been coming here for years and they just, it's a really cool thing to do. And the thing is they've really developed their system, whether it is the hotels, hotels, bed and breakfasts, all these things, they've got it all. Public transport, whether it's trains, buses, trams, they have all this out there, which is really cool for you to use as a tourist. The museums will have things mostly in German, but sometimes they'll have it in English or they'll at least have cards in English to help you. So it is really great. And that's why you're gonna love the tourist infrastructure here in Austria. The fourth thing you're gonna love about coming to Austria are the historic towns and cities in Altstadt or old towns in the cities. Austria really wasn't that scarred from the Second World War. So you still have lots of historic old towns that are still with the original construction and it is gorgeous. Whether you're going to a city like Salzburg or Innsbruck, or you go to a town like Hallstatt, which is this beautiful little village on the lakes. I mean, it is just gorgeous out there. So make sure you get out 
and explore those old towns in the big cities, but also in the small towns. And the fifth thing you're gonna like about coming to Austria is the recreation and culture you can have here. Yes, we're going out and we're going to the vineyards and doing that. And I'm, I'm going to museums galore because Austria has great culture here because the museums for the stuff they've collected all over, the Habsburg did a great job of building fantastic museums and fantastic places and building up the culture and all this kind of stuff in Austria. And it's still here and you can really get a lot out of it. And I like to tell people, if you want to get cultured, come to Austria because the, so much of the museums and architecture and history here really brings you up and you learn so much. Anyway, those are the five things that I love and hate about visiting Austria. What are some things you don't like? Maybe the people that stand behind you when you do videos or other things. Put it in the comments section below. We really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, check us out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Walters World. And we'll say Auf Wiedersehen from Salzburg, Austria. Bye.